Hello everyone, Johnny here. In our previous session, we have discussed about events and states. We have covered very basic example of what is an event and what is a state. But in this tutorial, we will try to look into an example to develop an React counter. Let us understand what we will try to do in this tutorial. The output of the visualization will be like when I click on minus it should be able to decrement when I click on the plus symbol it should be able to increment and when I click on reset button it should be able to be give the value as 0 so for this we will try to do an application so uh, let me open my uh, the sublime text in this uh, sublime text I am trying to write in the previous workspace that is hello team you know how to work on the folder right first we need to create a folder by using npx space create react app space the project name here the folder name is hello team next one you need to navigate to the current folder and next one you need to click on start that is npm start so I have made everything handy and it takes some, some time so I have written npm start so now you can see the output of this folder. now let me write the same code for this let me take out a new file control n or file new save the file I am trying to write the file name now counter.js in this this is the first step one that we have created a project and we are able to create a file in the step two let us build a simple counter button in the react that will update every time when it is clicked see here uh, when I am trying to, I'm trying to create a file now that, that is counter.js in this I will try to write the code of this counter before writing about this, uh, let us uh, see how we can understand like the states, events in this example. So let me write uh, the same sample package. Let me import the package. Import React from React. We are trying to import React library. We also have a React DOM as we have seen in the previous sessions that will import uh, whatever we are necessary for the rendering the DOM and in this I am trying to create class co component and I am trying to extend where I will get all the functionalities of this base class react component next one in this I should able to write the snippet we will be using render and I am trying to export this class export default counter let me import this one the this name can be anything like you can write ABC or anything but the whatever you write here it should be able to be imported here like let me write import counter from counter and I am trying to write the component name here so let me check the output of the snippet so I am getting some uh, error here like some error we are getting it yes we haven't written anything in this uh, see here can you see some uh, something your render method doesn't have a return statement so it means we should able to write something in this I'm trying to return some button now uh, let me write as uh, we are trying to if we are trying to use multiple statements we use parentheses here in this I'm trying to take a div sorry I'm trying to take a div in this div I should able to take a button now I am trying to take a button uh, I am trying to take a button like click me let me write a small button so this is all we have seen in the previous session also like uh, creating a button for the class component yes we have done so we are trying to create a button I this is a JSX notation and we are trying to import this react component and we are trying to use this one and we are trying to display in the root container that is divide equal to root which is present in index.html and we have imported the class component here so we got an output in the browser as click me now what should what should, this is a step two like with the, we have uh, created a small button we have understood what how to create now uh, for example see in the class component we have understood about the components like props elements states and events props can be used to pass the data from the parent to child component in the same way for example if I want to pass some value 
for example if i want to pass some value let me see uh, take in our previous example we have taken different usernames in the same way i'm trying to take like uh, some value that is numpy in this parent component and i want to import it here so i should able to use something called props so in this i'm trying to write this dot props props dot count let us see what we have written here yes we have written count let me check the output yes we got output as 5 so uh, when we are trying to use the props here we will again we will face some issue like props are immutable in the sense we cannot change it we cannot update it so this is uh, not a good choice to use even though the values can be passed but we it is it won't perform some states like updating all these things so for this we will be trying to use states now in props we can just pass the value from the parent to child component but in order to update as we know that props are immutable we cannot change it so now we can swap this props with the states so let me remove this count let me remove this count props equal to 5 and let me erase this thing and I don't want this thing so for this what I need to use I should able to use some state so let me write some state here as you know state in react the state can be created as a object like first it we can set an initial value with this like key and value pair so I'm trying to write state equals to count I'm trying to write 42 example I'm trying to take 42 let me check the output in the snippet yes we got so it is trying to pass the value like whatever we have written here it is able to pass it here so similar to the props but where state is manageable within the component it means each component will have a different state so in this if we can see we are able to refer the state instead of using the props as we have seen in the previous example so this is how we have created with a small state so we can see the default value but our main logic is that we should able to have when I click on the plus symbol it should able to increment when I click on the minus symbol it should able to decrement and when I click on the reset symbol it should able to reset the values so for this uh, we should we can create some increment and decrement so for this we should able to perform some events I mean we can click on some events in the same way for this button I am trying to use some attribute called on click you know react is an uh, we will be writing this thing in a camel case in javascript we will be writing like on click and we will be passing a string or a function to call in the same way in the react we will be using something called click handler or something like handling in the functions so i'm trying to write here this dot increment this dot increment so in this instead of this dot count i'm trying to write plus here so now let us check the output in the snippet yes we got we got a plus symbol so can you can we print this output in the browser yes like we have something called as we have written in the previous example like this dot state dot count just now this dot state dot count let me write this thing yes it is not able to perform why we haven't written any code for this function that is increment can you see in react we will not call using parenthesis so for this event handler for this event handler we are trying to pass a function when the plus symbol is clicked it will be able to perform this function value so in order to define this what I'm trying to do I'm trying to write a arrow function here between the state and the render I'm trying to define some arrow function increment you know how to write an arrow function in the previous sessions we have covered this concept in this we are trying to write this dot set state what is the use of set, set state as the values has been changed it allows the components to render it again let us look into this so this will accept this dot state dot count that is we are trying to read the values here so simply we are trying to increment it can you see set state is an object we are trying to pass some values here so here it is trying to accept a new state of the component it means whenever you are trying to click or perform some operations it will able to perform on this let me check the output in the browser 
so we have some error here in the line number yes so sorry for this yes let me check yes it is able to increment so now we have seen how it is passed so let me elaborate this code so that uh, it will be very easy to understand first we have created a state object with a property and value and the default value is 42 and in the render we are trying to pass for the button on click attribute it should be written camel case and in this we are trying to pass an event handler in this event handler I am trying to pass a function here we have defined this as an arrow function in this arrow function we have used a set state in this set state we are trying to update the component in the sense update the values of this component so it will try to accept the new state of the component so it will try to increment the value so everything it is written in JSX so let me write this code let me check this is how we have done with the increment let me check this code again yes it is trying to perform as we have expected but we should also get something called decrement and reset so can you write the code yes same thing we can write the same snippet we can use some other thing called decrement here let me take a minus symbol in this I am trying to de define arrow function for this I am trying to define this dot set state where based upon the component values change it will try to render it again it will accept in the form of objects this dot state dot count minus one let me check the output in the browser yes decrement we have some error in this snippet this dot set state dot count s yes, we haven't used arrow function sorry mm. now let's see plus minus we got if I want to perform a reset option we can use some same snippet we can use the same snippet here I'm trying to write the function name now as a reset let me use the same snippet and we are trying to use a reset so this is how we can do in a simple way like uh, I don't want any increment or decrement here and I'm trying to reset to the 40 uh, let me change the symbol here a reset yes a reset minus and plus so this is how it has been done so in this we have taken a counter and we were trying to render it in the main container id uh, that is root container and in this we are we have used the class component name here and let me understand this code like in this we have created a class component we have imported the react library we have been extending the base class that is the react component to use all these fu functions and the properties that is render and all now in this return we were trying to use three buttons first button for the increment next one for the decrement and next one for the reset and we were trying to use state here using the states we were trying to perform increment decrement and reset so let us elaborate the same code again how we have done in the form of presentation let us look into the presentation part so in this uh, session we have uh, covered about how to create a react counter in this react counter we were trying to perform this operation like first we have started with creating the basic application and we can see that uh, hello world welcome page next one we have used a uh, counter component using a basic uh, button and we were rendering in the root container step 2 in the step 3 we were trying to use props but uh, as props are immutable we, are, we haven't used it instead of this we have used states and we have set the initial value with 42 and we got the output as 42 on the button and the next we have used set state and we have used a button when the user has been created this thing it will try to increment in this presentation I have included only the increment part in the practical we have done about minus as well as reset when the user clicks on this button it will try to increment so in this if we can see uh, the number will be displayed in this the count state is the count state that is uh, we it, it will be as a 
ro rotor count component that is it acts as the top level counter component when the user clicks on this plus symbol that is plus symbol the event handler the event handler will will be bound to this increment function this increment function this increment function will try to update the value of the new state count new state count it will try to update and it will try to render the whole component and the value will be displayed here that is in the this dot span dot count the counter component keeps tracks of all the state values that is all the values what we have done when the user clicks on the plus symbol it will try to perform the increment minus decrement and when the user clicks on the reset it will try to reset the value to the zero if we can understand this thing this is very easy to understand like uh, using events and states in the previous session we have covered only the basic part but in this we have covered a assignment based upon how to develop a simple counter using react let me uh, cover one more example like quick overview of this counter code so that you can understand it very well initially the page will load in the first part and it will try to render once after rendering it it will try to uh, have the click button when the user clicks on the click button it will try to call the event handler in our case the event handler was increment later again render will be called and the setback state will be called and it will try to re-render the component it will try to rerun the component and the value will be incremented here so this is how in the basic five steps we can perform this react counter so here main important thing is that developing a component using a set, set street and rendering the value to the browser that is the output so this is how we have done with a simple counter using react if you have any queries you can just drop us a mail or you can comment below this video thank you